hey everybody it's uh tuesday the 29th i've got two days left until halloween and i picked a movie that i haven't seen that i've had for a while and that i've started again when i started stopped and i finally watched it 1980s the changeling so i'm going to keep this one quick uh i was reading review i've always heard about how good this movie is and i want to i want to say that it, i had it ruined by watching that like 100, 100 scariest moments in movie history where they show where George C. Scott takes that ball and he throws it off the bridge and he goes home and then it bounces down the stairs so I just ruined it for you too if you haven't seen it I know that's like a, supposed to be a scary part but yeah I just saw it out of context and so I knew what was coming I was reading reviews like so many people this movie scared the crap out of them they saw it when they were young, and I just never grew up with it, and I think I missed the boat. Like, I didn't want to force myself to like it. I thought it was good, but it just didn't hit me the way, like, so many people talk about it. I did like it. I love George C. Scott. I mean, I have Dr. Strangelove. I have Exorcist 3. I have Hardcore. I like him in Firestarter. That, that's when I did grow up with, and he was creepy in that. So yeah, I just wanted to say that the Changeling, yeah, it's just very slow, methodical, atmospheric, uh, haunt, you know, old haunted house story that turns into like a murder mystery. That's a big chunk of it. Uh, really not too much haunting you know, it's not like Poltergeist or, uh, I can't, what's the, can't think of any other, or the Entity. So yeah, but I, I did it, I, I did not like it, it just didn't move me or hit me the way I, I feel it should have, but, uh, I'll give it a solid three, and if you really like it, I promise I will watch it again, maybe it'll grow on me, maybe like on a, like, late, on the weekend because uh two movies that have really grown on me now are Halloween 2 which I, I always thought it was okay now I really like it and Friday the 13th part 2 which I always liked I watched it again I was pretty buzzed and I thought it was great so I, I'll give this a rewatch I promise uh, but you know if it doesn't you know, like I said, I can't force it. So I'll give it another try. Maybe I'll review it later. I'll give it a solid three. And, uh, yeah, that's all I could say. I wanted to say more, but I was like, just don't force it. Just, you know, but I really don't have much to say without spoiling it. Uh, it did remind me, or the ring reminds me of this. Because of the whole thing, like a human remains in a well. So I was like, wow, that... It's a, uh, maybe not, but it just seems, you know, two ghost movies with wells. Or maybe it's in the third one, but that's what I thought of The Changeling. Let me know if you've seen it, if you like it, what you think of it, and uh, I'll get back to you.